<clears throat> Good morning, Stevie Power here. Well, this is the only video I'm making today. I'm not making that many videos today. I'm going to be busy today. But I want to tell you about the 4th of July, which <clears throat> is a few months away. How am I going to do the fireworks this year? You remember my video where I filmed all the fireworks like that year. But this year, <clears throat> well, came mine last year. Now, came not mind basically has a fireworks show every year, but last year they had to cancel it because of COVID. But <clears throat> they said they're having it this year, so we're going to have our fireworks show. It's a free night event, and it comes different every year. Like three nights of fireworks. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, my plan this year is the fireworks this year, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd are fireworks, the city ones. So, I'm planning on July 1st go to film the city fireworks, the whole show, and then <clears throat> go film the neighbors the rest of the night afterwards, go around town film the neighbors. July 2nd, <clears throat> go film the second night of the show, and then go film the neighbors, and then go film July 3rd and film the neighbors, and then July 4th, just go film the neighbor's fireworks, and then <clears throat> that'll be my documentary for 4th this year, which I expect them to be in HD this year, because this camera is kick-ass good. This camera probably picks up more than my other one, like more high-quality stuff, so I can't wait for this year, 4th. <clears throat> now, last year, on the 3rd of July, woke up at 7 a.m., I think, <clears throat> filmed some fireworks that night, went over to this house over at the subdivision, filmed their fireworks, and then I then I went over there for a while and then I went over here because they're showing some fireworks stuff so I went in their yard and watched their fireworks for a while which I'm sorry that when I was over there I didn't get them on film though but then I went back over there and then watched some of their fireworks and then I went filmed the traffic light kickoff for the night and then I came back here I think no I, feel, I went down by the park and then I came back here and then I think I went that way and then I came back here, I came, I came here, I jumped in the pool because I was hot, filmed that, and then <clears throat> LM35, I went to bed, I slept good that night, I actually slept really good that night, woke up at 6.50 that morning, <clears throat> came out here at 7, did a video, and then the rest of the day was pretty good, I went in the swimming that day in the pool, I stayed in the pool because it was hot that day. I heard a couple of fireworks throughout the day, and then around 8 o'clock that night, I went to film, be showing that firework I had off. Then I started filming, then I went down Bangor Road down there and filmed, see if I could get some fireworks down there. I heard a couple, and then came down here and filmed some. They were starting really quick that night, and then these neighbors did it, and then I went down there, saw those squealy fireworks, and then filmed that. Then I came back here and filmed some more over here, and then I went downtown over there, filmed those, and I went back to the subdivision, filmed that one fountain, came back here, filmed some over here. <clears throat> I think it was out till midnight that night. Then around midnight, I went in the house, and I didn't fall asleep till around 1 in the morning because I had to go to the bathroom bad. So then I fell asleep at 1, woke back up at 2, <clears throat> went to the bathroom, and then Went back to bed, woke up at 5.50, did a video at that time, and went back to sleep and got up at 6.50, so <coughs> this year's sport will be good, so have a good day, bye.